Boker Tov, everyone. Rabbi Eric Solomon. More morning Torah here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Beth Meyer Synagogue. We are now in the second book of the Torah, the book of Exodus. It's the beginning here, Shemot. And we're beginning our travel down to Egypt, which sadly, very quickly, will lead into bondage and slavery, Pharaoh changing, a new Pharaoh rises, um, and difficult time for our people. And the Hasidic masters, you know, ask this, or bring up a, like a phenomenal question and and kind of insight around this dynamic. In the land of Israel, if you look at, think of it geographically, is slightly to the north of Egypt, and we go down to Egypt to the Joseph story and, and through, of course, our, our enslavement. And they ask, you know, why do we have to go down to Egypt? You know, or not why, but like kind of focusing on the dynamic of going down to Egypt and what can we learn from going down, literally geographically down, but also spiritually down, emotionally down. We're gonna be enslaved. We're going to go down in many ways down to Egypt. And with many different commentaries come back with this idea that we need to go down because even in Mitzrayim, Egypt, Mitzrayim means a narrow place or narrow straits, even in difficult place physically, but also spiritually, there are sparks, there is shever, there is food, there is spiritual nourishment, even in Mitzrayim. So what does this mean? Even when we are in difficult places, difficult times, like we are right now, it's not that we would ask for it. We don't wish for it. No one wants straits of life that are narrow and difficult and trying. But when you're there, there is an opportunity for growth, for learning, even Torah, even spiritual nourishment, sparks, even God. So right off this here, right now in the community and the Jewish people in the world. The hostages, the ongoing war, the suffering, anti-Semitism, we are going through straits. It matches the Torah. Yes, we should try to get out of it as soon as possible, no question, but in that process, what can we learn? Just as one example, from challenging times, one learns resilience. One learns to work together with others one can even deepen their prayer life. People who have not been involved in advocacy or in general speaking out are now speaking out. It's not easy, it didn't come from a place of, but there is something positive from that. And can we bring that forth, God willing, when we leave Egypt, and leave Mitzrayim, can we hold on to some of that Torah and teachings and sparks as we go in our lives in the future, please God, soon, when it's much more peaceful and safe. We actually make it to the quote unquote promised land. Wishing all, please God, opportunity to learn from Mitzrayim, learn from the Egypt we're experiencing. Let's make the Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.